Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Twilight 2000, where our intrepid survivors are in the backwater parts of Poland, hunting, scouting, being mauled by bears. And talking of bears, start there, shall we? Doddy. All right. The smell burns your nose, makes your eyes water. You jolt awake, thumping headache, your hands hitting wet mud on either side. You look around. Where are you? Were you sleeping? You shake your head to clear it, but it just won't clear. A squawk comes from your radio on your belt. You grab it instinctively, but it's just an unintelligible garbled nonsense. It comes back every time you key the button. Explosions are all around you. You hear them. Artillery explosions, shells, shelling, and they seem like they're getting closer every minute. Screams, shouts and wailing can be heard, muffled, yet from all directions. You look around. Find yourself in a forested area, broken trees everywhere, shell damage. Feel your weapon, grab hold of your weapon. You kind of look at it. It's empty. There's a magazine in there, but no bullets. Phew, a couple of other empty magazines scattered around you. You reach into your pocket. You just pull out a photograph. It's a black and white picture of your wife and your kids. I realize you had that. You're not sure. You look around further, you see you're in a, a foxhole, hole dug in the ground. There's smoke above you. And as you kind of look up and, and look around, you can see charred corpses scattered around, littered, just lying where they fell. You can see smoking craters, debris all about you. You feel a little bit of anxiety, the pounding of your heart. You're looking around for, for answers and you notice movement all around you. <clears throat> Someone's arrived. It looks like they're attempting to go around the back of you. What are you doing, Dolly? I search my fatigues for a magazine that's got some bullets to defend myself from whatever it was that just exploded. We're being, we're being and again, raided. Gets around. There's people. They're, they're, they're right. I, I need to fill this. I need to get rid of. I'm looking around, I'm checking. Is there anything, any ammo anywhere? No, just empty magazines. You kind of look forward through the smoke and you see a figure walking towards you, pistol in hand. Familiar. You've seen this face before. See Lieutenant Parker stood in front of you. You let me die, Doddy. You let me die. Kind of brings up a weapon pointing at you. He cocks the pistol. Doing. I look at Lieutenant Barker and say, We all die. Every one of us. And if it's my turn, then I accept that. I accept that gracefully. 
The smoke rolls over and engulfs Lieutenant Parker. You hear something to your right. You turn slightly. You hear movement, you hear fabric. You see your wife stood there. You were supposed to come home. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, Mary. I'll be with you soon. I'll be Smoke with you soon. engulf, sir. Can you make a stamina roll for me now, please? Uh, yes. That's uh, the best roll I've ever made in this entire game. You kind of take a deep influx of breath. You hear another noise behind you. You hear booted footsteps. As you turn, you see Specialist Terry Glover, someone you've just recently met, running towards you. What are you doing? This is no right. He wasn't there ever, Mr. Parker. Mary wasn't there ever, Mr. Parker. Where the Daddy. fuck? Donnie! Donnie! Hey. You can you kind of feel smoke kind of rushing over you and you kind of open your eyes. And, you know, it's almost like you open your eyes again. You're lying on the ground amongst leaves and, and branches. You can see... Yeah, no, no craters, no nothing. You can see Spare Terry, the Bradley driver that you met very recently. Oh shit! Don't, don't move. Lie still. Huh? She kind of starts, and she, like, she, you took a hit in the head. Your head really starts to pound now. Really starts to pound. See, she pulls out uh, a medical kit. Uh, um, uh, starts looking. I have kind of pulls out no a couple idea. of pills. No idea what's going on because I've been smacked in the head, right? So I'm concussed. Is that right? You are. You so are concussed. My short-term Please, memory. Take this. Just I'm, I, I just I go, uh, but it feels more real. Aye. Oh yes, definitely feels real. You is you you you're lying. You're lying flat on the ground. There's no foxhole that you were in. The smoke seems to have gone, and aye, there's aye, no littered aye, bodies aye. or crater shells around you. Aye. I'll uh, put my she face. starts pulling out a bandage and let this lass do what she's going to do, and it'll come right. It'll come right. I'll know what's going on. I know what's going on. Aye, I'll just wait and see what happens. I'll just, uh, I'll just do, do what she says. I'll be fine. Okay. Let's see if she can help you with her limited, limited skills. That's a nine. See, she kind of wraps a padded bandage around the side of your head. Um, and you can feel the pressure on the wound seems quite, quite heavy. But yeah, and she kind of hands you two pills. Take these, pulls out a canteen of water. Drink, drink. Aye. It'll help the pain. Aye, aye, yep. And you can recover one of your hit capacity back. But you can also gain one point of stress. <laughs> <sighs> and as we leave Doddy there for a moment, we switch to. Well, we switch to uh, the rest of our survivors. Now, you guys were going out to scout the bridge, weren't you? I believe you were all. all there. Um. So. If, if I recall correctly, I think. Um, 
Oh, gosh. I know Isaac and I were looking at the bridge. Well, well Jake wasn't around, I don't think, last. But he, I think he went there earlier. So let's let's just assume that you all met him, because I think you were going back to catch up with Jake. So I you we are all up into three. I I can't remember. We're going to say you're back together. It's yes. been a month, and I want you all together. Well, apart from poor Doddy, you uh, head back out and you meet up all together. Um, I am going to activate a scene for you and I'm going to let you see it in a minute and I'm hoping that it shows up for Jake. Um, and it should come up. No, I apologise. It is a fairly large-ish map so I'm really hoping it comes up today. I did preload it but this is, this is, this is Foundry. And hoping it goes up. Is anyone seeing it? I am still loading. Um, I'm still loading. Yeah, it looks, yeah. I am. I am sorry. You are, at the moment, behind a dirt berm, looking towards the bridge where these Soviet engineers are. You can see a couple of wrecked cars on the road. I'm hoping it comes up soon. Uh, you see the combat engineer's vehicle. You see the bridge. You see some sandbags with two guys. Um, and they are uh, with a machine gun. But yeah, as you are looking at it, you are roughly about 40 odd meters away from the bridge area. You can see the combat engineer vehicle. You can see there is one uh, one person. Oh, why wonder, actually? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Something. So you are, you zoom in, the berm by the shell crater. You see all your tokens down there. So you can see the two wrecked cars across the road uh, by the tree in the bushes. And you see some tents this side, one tent the other side. And at the moment, you're seeing two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Soviet engineers. You see a wrecked Gaz 66 truck at the front, a UAZ 469B at the front. You see an IMR 2R engineering vehicle, which is a chassis of a T 72 with the turret removed, with a dozer blade on the front and a crane on the top. The two men behind the UAZ next to each other on the lip of the bridge have um, a machine gun behind sandbags and you know there are two on the other side of the bridge that have machine guns behind sandbags and that is what you will be facing with any sort of assault on this area so as the four of you are looking while we wait for Doddy Kobe, you're in command of this little ragtag bunch. You want to take this out to prevent them using the bridge, which they have been using, it seems, as some sort of toll bridge. An extortion yeah, racket, idea. I think, is what you mean to say. <coughs> Sorry? Mm -hmm. An extortion racket is actually what you mean to say, I think. I, I don't think I mean to say that at all. A toll bridge. You see a couple I... of other... other um, I mean, so a couple of these Soviets are, are walking around. I mean, the one by the IM, IMR 2R is walking around shirtless with no weapon in hand. Um, he looks like he's working on the engineering vehicle. Uh, but there are no heavy, heavy artillery, no heavy weapons that you can see on vehicles. You do see one of the uh, by the machine gun nest. There is a um, RPG. Um, which can be effective against vehicles and emplacements. And you know the bridge is all wired up with tons and tons of explosives. 
But he's only you're about 40 odd meters away from them, or rather Kobe is. Some of the rest of you are a little bit further away. And that is what you are going to be assaulting. So they have a distinctive personnel advantage. And we have the element of surprise, but still, do you have I, I don't think that that's, that's going to be quite enough. I mean, the whole point here is we were actually going to even, we were thinking of even negotiating with them to get across, but uh, Isaac felt very passionate that these Russian soldiers don't belong here and, and they should be kind of sent away. Um, now, I don't believe that there's any good chance that we can assault uh, this post and keep the bridge intact. I think once they feel there's overwhelming um, power coming at this bridge, they're just going to blow it up. Uh, so the question to Isaac is, is your goal just to have us have them get out of here because if they blow up the bridge there'll be no reason for them to stay here do you want a quick attack make them feel like they're being overrun bring in say a tank that looks like it's about to come out and use that superior firepower to force them to blow up the bridge because either way that bridge is going down as soon as we attack them as soon as they 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 feel they can't keep control over the bridge there's no reason for them to keep the bridge up mm. so i don't imagine that isaac is is being particularly rational at this point um in what he's expecting um however he was a policeman this is an extortion racket it doesn't matter what the gm says that's what it is uh, they are also Russians, and the Russians did nuke his family in Warsaw. Um, and he's just Amongst encountered a family. Families. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's just encountered a family on the road that are very, very sick, and he's had to give them supplies. Knowing full well that they'll probably be taken off them at the bridge by these people. Um, so he's not, he's not necessarily thinking rationally, um, but, he, but he wants them out of here. Well, if you want them out of here... I mean, you don't have to go along with that. No, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to go along with that. Um, th this is a hindrance to our mission of trying to bring a family with kids to safety as well. Um, I mean, we could try to find other ways to cross uh, other places. Um, but we do have a tank. Uh, so I know that we were discussing last time in an effort to try to mitigate anybody from being able to blow up the bridge, um, a two-pronged assault, uh, an assault That's team correct. on both sides of the bridge. Um, we were looking at either A, uh, at night, trying to uh, disable the demolitions so that if somebody presses a button, the bridge wouldn't blow up. Um, yeah. And I think we've kind of decided that that would be too difficult or too unrealistic, uh, way too difficult to accomplish. Um, there'd be a very uh, slim chance of uh, success, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, because our... Um, demolitions engineer um well just we, we don't know what's going to be with with that i don't i don't trust my he skill went, to be able to he do went that. out hunting that's all you know about Doddy. He, he did but we were talking about me doing it Fine. and my skill wasn't uh may, may not be up to the task i mean i i may succeed in a mission if our mission is to blow up the bridge me with it um that that might work if what I go skill and do would you that. Need again to undo some uh, of the stuff. I I have a combat engineer uh, skill. There's basically it's, it's it's done on tech. Okay. Um, but the combat engineer specialization will give you an extra plus one to your role. Right. Uh, right, which uh, is something I have. Yes. Yeah. Um, but in any case, that's at night. So. 
um, if we want to go back to that plan, then uh, then we regroup here at night. I try to uh, cut the wires between the demolitions so that nothing blows up. Uh, I'd have to figure out uh, how this is set up. Um, it is Russian, likely, uh, munitions and not American, so that might be a hindrance to my ability to do so properly. Um, but um, but that was it, and then, you know, scare them with the tank. Well, you know, the, the, the Bradley has its 25mm auto cannon. It also has, I believe, three tow anti-tank guided missiles. Mm -hmm. Which are quite lethal. It's pies! Yeah. Now, Chris, we, we didn't pies. Want... Oh, that's where he is. Now, we didn't necessarily want to take out any of their vehicles because we would like to see those vehicles, you know, surrendered into Polish hands so that they can continue to rebuild here. Um, but and we do want to keep the the bridge afloat, or not afloat. We want to keep it uh, upright. We intact. don't want it floating in the water. We intact is, is a better word. Um, so the question is, how do we want to accomplish it? I I say we still need a two men team on each side at least. Try to take out their ability to blow up the bridge by. We're assuming we can see where. Um, the soldiers are stationed near the controller to be able to blow it up. We have noticed that they have this ability on both sides of the bridge, so it would be kind of... Sorry? The machine gun nests are where the cables go to. Correct. So the two men... Um, can I tag it there? Um, no, I can't tag it. So, yeah, two men... Let me show you where my cursor is. Let me put my cursor back on. So two men here, yeah. mm -hmm. and two men over here behind the sandbags. Wire right. goes down here, and wire goes down underneath. So we still need snipers on each side to try to take out two before they realize what's happening. And then hopefully uh, with the noise of the tank and the tank coming in and them getting shot at from both directions, um, we're hoping that they will kind of uh, believe that there's overwhelming uh, fire superiority over them, and they will flee. Okay. So if I'm, if I may, Kobe, please uh, do. We're we're all. <laughs> I assume somebody is it is it Kobe that has binoculars that we're able to see all these. Positions. Yes, you've got, you've got binoculars. Yeah, there's binoculars around. That you can and you're kind of, you know, letting us know all of this stuff. It, based on what you can see and what you're describing, I think that we should probably have... Um, well, both sides are relatively... This side is definitely more entrenched, it looks like. More, well, like one more person. No, two more people, <clears throat> yeah. and then the vehicles. So, but I'm also assuming that that would change. Like, you know, you think we could these take guys are here the now. far side in stealth? Well, there's already there's also somebody in the middle of the bridge, apparently. Does yeah, this person knows. in the middle are they are they like stationed there, or does it look like they're just kind of? Uh, at the moment, he's looking over the side of the bridge at the explosives on there. Oh, so he's doing uh, maintenance, like he's essentially. Doing he's making sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which is another issue with trying to um, disable them overnight because they'll just check them. This is a, this is a well-oiled military machine here. Um, also, in terms of the outpost being on the other side, I don't believe that um, taking them out silently will be. Uh, an effective tool is, uh, of surprise simply because, again, they're a uh, well-organized military operation. So um, I believe that the communications will be frequent and constant. Um, and the tent on the other side indicates that there's some sort of permanency to that outpost. Kobe, can I talk to you for a second over here? I try and pull Kobe away from Isaac and, and uh, Frank. Too, too much of a downer for this uh, mission? 
No, I, I, look, you're making sound judgments, but I don't know if you're looking at Isaac and seeing what I'm seeing. I think we may, need to make a decision quickly, or he's going to end up running up that road at those Russians, and we're going to be left trying to pick up the pieces. I'm not going to be responsible for our unit running into a suicide mission. This has to be well planned out and executed properly with the proper time. I mean, he's a police officer. If he goes off half cocked, I don't know how much military experience he has. He has a fine, fine, fine eye for sniping down people. I mean, they, he was trained to be a sniper in the police force. Uh, extraordinaire. Uh, as good as any soldier I've seen, if not better. But I don't think and he's I ever been that. trained to I attack a military installation. I'm saying I don't know if training is going to matter given another hour, if, if that. I think we need to make a decision soon or he's going to lose it. I suggest... I think... All right. I suggest that we send a party across as travelers so they can get a better look at things as they cross the bridge. Now, who that's going to be, I don't know. But we definitely need to take out both of those emplacements at the same time or they're going to blow the bridge. But that's all I've got. You're in charge. You you made down the decision for me and Frank. I agree. I'm concerned but about Kobe's yeah. mindset right now, or I'm sorry, uh, Isaac's mindset right now. Oh, you should be concerned about Kobe's mindset as well. That that's legitimate. So no worries there. Kobe's a sergeant, yeah. right? He is. is that right? I believe so. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. He is. Yes. Yeah, I I get that, Sarge. Yeah. I understand you're under a lot of stress, but you're the one that we're looking to right now. Yeah, but God damn it, if only Lieutenant Parker was here, or Captain Parker. I don't know what I should call him, but man, I mean, this is too much responsibility. I slap the meat hot down on his shoulder and give him a squeeze. Look, Parker's gone. I know it. You know it. I'm saying right now, we got to do what we can to keep it together, and Isaac's not keeping it together too well. Man's upset. Man's angry. If we don't well, do something soon, he will start this, and then we will be right. left picking up the pieces. Okay. Let's uh, let's tell him we're going to place the soldiers in tonight. We'll coordinate with the tank coming first thing in the morning, and these guys are hopefully still sleeping. Let's okay. entrench ourselves overnight, and we'll do the two-pronged approach of uh, attacking both sides at once. We'll have... Okay. Uh, Isaac on one side and whoever else is uh, a good crack sniper shot on the other side. Try to take out those uh, machine gun emplacements. They are our number one concern because of firepower and because they can take down the bridge. Isaac's rifle isn't silenced, is it? No, I don't think so, no. Okay. I don't think he's got a silencer. Um, can we make one? Maybe the gypsy lady has one. <laughs> um, if you have any weapon parts, but I don't believe you do. I believe you have some vehicle parts, but not weapon yeah. parts. Uh, but at this point, you see, um, so Isaac, you and Frank are, are stood there. Kobe and Grayson just kind of stepped a, a bit further away just to have a, a, a quiet little chat. Mm. What are you thinking? What are you doing and talking as you're kind of left there? Is there a little bit further away from you, just yeah, muttering to each other? Yeah, I think Isaac is staring through his little sniper scope. He's taking it off his rifle. He's just staring through that, looking mm -hmm. uh, and surveying the situation. Um, okay. Looks across at Frank. Says, uh, what do you think they're talking about? of action uh, the two um, veterans um, were discussing what to do but what do you think we should do
No, you saw that family on the road. We didn't. We didn't see them arrive at the bridge, did we? That family. Mm, we no. They, you, 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 ahead of us, you, so. you told them to to go another way. You oh, told yeah, them to right. avoid the bridge. You sent them off in a different direction. And there's probably plenty of people like them who would want to cross a bridge like this. Get out of here. They've got something to trade. They'll they'd probably let them over. Um, I don't think they really had much to trade, did they? No. I don't think they most were, people they, do. They weren't in... Uh... And they weren't in a, a, a great state of, 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 yeah, they weren't in a great state of mind as well. So, yeah. <laughs> OK. Kobe. Your radio clicks and crackles. You've got one of the Russian handheld radios. Such. it's Terry. Got a problem. I've just found Daddy. He's he's been hit. He's been hurt. He's got a head injury, and he's he's kind of looking around rather strangely. I'm getting him back to camp now. Uh, uh, I've patched him up as best I can, but I need uh, 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 for Frank Frank to look at him. All right, I copy that. We're coming back right away, and with that, I'm gonna hush them, guys. Back to camp. Dot, Dottie got hurt. I don't know how. I, I don't know what, but Frank, you're going to be needed there. Isaac, we're going to come back and handle this. Are you okay? We're going to. We need Dottie for this. Sure. Okay, engine. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's all head back. I'm gonna and watch to make sure that uh, Isaac is actually coming back with us. You all double time it, heading back to camp. Goddy, you are at the moment, and this is this is this is probably if if this was this is, would be a great thing for a, a comedy show because you and your tall muscular frame are at the moment leaning against the five foot three frame of Terry Glover, the driver of the Bradley. Your head is still pounding and you feel a bit woozy. Um, but she is helping you back to camp. And I have you're no not idea who she is, but she's helping me. No, so that's totally fine. <laughs> She seems friendly and, and she's holding you up at the moment, which you kind of think that how your legs are feeling, you would probably fall over uh, if, if she wasn't there. I mean, that is, of course, if she is actually there. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you hear and coming bounding towards you out of the forest, you see pies. Bounding along, John. You can see Terry. Oh, for fuck's sake, that fucking dog. As Pies comes up and his hand paws uh, up on your chest, and Terry's going, Oh, for God, get out, dog. And he kind of starts licking your face as his, his, his paws are up and his head's up. There's a look and of confusion the slobbery, on Doddy's face. The slime he? of a dog and the smell of. Well, he's definitely eating something that. Oh God! Oh, rotten, push up, push him down. Dead. I'm not, not yeah. mean to him, but yeah. push him down. Yeah, yeah. And he kind of immediately goes to your side. Uh, that's my dog, then, is it? Uh, I think he was. Uh, I think he was your dog. I'll, I'll I mean, remember soon. Don't you worry. It's fine. He, he was. His name's. You, 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 I think it's pies. I don't know why you call him pies. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get. We, I've, I've let. I've let. I've let Kobe know. Dear, you've been heard. You can't. She kind of keeps on. Hi. Dragging. Well, what happened? Did you? It didn't look like a gunshot. I didn't hear any gunshots. Uh. I was. Tunting, 
Uh, I think uh, it was something got me. I don't know if a tree fell on me. It certainly feels like it. Uh, uh, there's a, there seems to be a, some heavy scratches around your head. Oh, fuck it. Let's get you back. I'm, I've done the best I can. We'll, we'll see what Frank can do. We'll get you some. Uh, don't you worry. I've some coffee or something. I've played rugby plenty, and I know what concussion feels like. It'll pass. I'll be all right. Thanks, Hen. I appreciate your help. Come on, let's get you back. And this five foot three uh, soldier is is helping you along. And you get back into camp. You can see um, uh, Maria is there. You can see um, her daughter, uh, Ramona, are sat at the moment on the ramp by the back of the Bradley. You see the turret of the Bradley is pointing towards you as you come. And you can see just kind of coming up through the hatch, you can see Dallas there. Terry, what you, are you for? What? She kind of jumps out, comes over and kind of takes Doddy off of Terry. You can see this big African-American uh, gentleman in battle dress fatigues just kind of helps, takes you away from this young, young woman, this short woman. Yeah, it's the strangest thing you've seen in a while. And they kind of take you down. See, canteen of water is uh, is brought out for you. Are you okay? I'll live. Aye. I've taken a bang to the head, and I'm not entirely sure why I'm here, but don't worry, it'll come back to me. Okay. No. Well, yeah, okay. Well, you... He kind of looks at Terry. She kind of shrugs. I don't know. I, I'm gonna. I'll be back in a minute, Dallas. I left a uh, a couple of rabbits uh, tied up. Uh, Roger. See, she grabs, un unslings her uh, assault rifle and kind of heads back out the way she came, leaving you with Terry. The, the, the other woman that's here with the young girl seems familiar. It's, yeah, you, you've definitely, you definitely, yeah, yeah, she's familiar to you. And at this point, Grayson, Isaac, Kobe, and Frank head in to the clearing, the hidden clearing, the Bradley covered with the camouflage netting. And you see Doddy leant against the tracks got a big bandage around his head, big padded um, gauze on the inside of the bandage uh, against one side of his head. And you, you do remember that he did take a hit to the head before. Uh, a, a while ago, yeah, he took a hit to the head before, but yeah, he, he doesn't look good. Looks a bit pale. Well, he Donnie, what I'll happened? I'll rush over Where to him. Where were you? Okay. Hi, 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 hi. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm all right. I'm, uh, just a wee bit shaken up. Uh, I took a knock what, to the what heat. What hit you? A uh, train, I think it was. Uh, I'm not sure. Something. I was out. <laughs> It'll come back to me, uh, and I'm looking at these people, and I know their faces, kind of, but I don't like. Yeah, really, yeah. I don't have that association with them, but they're not sure. There's two of them you 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 are very very familiar with. The other two, uh, there's some recognition there, but there's two that you're really familiar with. Uh, the guy that you're speaking to now, and there's another another guy there. Okay, um, Frank, can you just everybody back you... up? Let Frank do his work. <laughs> Let me, come on, give me space to work. Uh, yeah, let me kill him. Just make it. Can a we? Uh, roll. And this oh, is just to assess him. I. Can I'll, we? Um, I'll work. Sit him down. Oh. What? I'm, I'm just sitting down. I'm just looming behind Frank with my arms crossed, like looking down on Dottie. It's my buddy. He's hurt. So medical aid. Yeah, just this is just. It won't do any extra healing. It's just for you to assess the injuries. Oh, right. no. Okay, as you kind of remove the bandage around the uh, the side of his head, you can see there is a very, very large bruise there. Um, no severe swelling that you can see, 
but there is some blood and there seems to be some heavy scratch uh, impacts in there as well. Definitely no bullet wound. You kind of feeling down the side, no other um, gunshot trauma. Um, as you kind of go down his side and his ribs, yeah, there's a bit of bruising and a bit of tenseness in his body. And yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're fairly gentle with him, but you know, you are quickly assessing him. Um, looking at his eyes, his pupils, and the size of that bruise on the side of his head, definitely a concussion. Definitely a concussion. Which is, it's, yeah. I don't think there's any bleeding on the brain or anything. I mean, there's definitely no huge swelling on there, but it's just a nasty bruise. Yeah. Although there's... I've got to... Yeah, there's the wounds on these, the claw wounds. <clears throat> they're definitely claw wounds. They, they, they look a bit mank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've been... And you kind of clean them out with some, some, some distilled water. Uh, yeah, and it looks like definitely something with claws has hit him. Yeah, but also something that's done a, a great amount of blunt force, blunt force trauma as well. So is there Donnie, anything I, I... I... No, nothing you can... Donnie, can you make a quick stamina roll, please? No, you, you, he's, he's had um, healing for the day when he got treatment from, um, from Terry. There's an eight. Success. Yeah, you are. You, are, you just kind of felt a little bit queasy there for a second. Um, but so yeah, you you yeah, you kind of fight back the nausea and yeah, you're okay and yeah, bandage kind of goes back on your forehead and you feel the the, the cold drip of, of water down your face from where they clean the wound. Thanks. But yes, no, uh, definitely no gunshot wounds or anything I, like that. Definitely seems to be some sort of blunt trauma. I appreciate it. I'll I'll be all right. I'll it'll take me. I just just need to get my heat back in order. No, 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 Frank, Frank, you, you, you watch him. He's obviously not right. I mean, you, you just said a train attacked you. We need to know: are we in danger? Is, is, is our cover exposed? What attacked you? Uh, um, I was, um, I was walking uh, in the trees, and something uh, just. Did not me over, uh, d d d and I woke. The next thing I remember, I was woke up just in the. Oh, uh, I, I focused trying to get rid of the the memory of the foxhole and the people that came to me, and I, I try it's, and just. It's it's there. I'm just trying you know, to the just, bodies. I'm like no. Nah, Foxhole smoke. I'll, 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 look, give me just a wee bit. I just need to clear my head. That's all. It'll come back to me. It's uh, uh, my mind is is uh, there. Uh, it's just my uh, my concussion. Uh, oh man! See when a scrum collapses on you, it, it's a wee bit like that. It feels much the same. Uh, I'll uh, I'll get. I'll be all right. Just let me sit the sidelines for a wee bit. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna pull Frank to the side. Frank, I, I... it's only Frank that gets the scrum reference, by the way. <laughs> and then the other two, the other three of you, kind of think, scrum. What the fuck's a scrum? Yes. I, I, I I've never seen wounds like that. I, I was that a knife? What, what, what attacked him? Was it? I, I haven't seen wounds like that either. It's, I don't know. I mean, a dog, kind of or know, a wild animal, a wolf. Um, he is 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 lying down next to Doddy. That's that's a train a soldier over there. <laughs> a dog, a moose, t t taking out a train soldier with with a with a rifle. No, that's not likely. Oh, we've exactly. got to make sure. Have you seen anything like that? in these parts before? Uh, I don't know. Would Isaac have seen yeah. anything like that? <laughs> uh, I, my, my first thought would be probably not. You, um, you, you do know that there are... Uh, you know there are bears in this area. Okay. You know there are deer. Um, there are... 
a few cows. I mean, it used to be quite a quite a farming area. Um, Conan itself uh, doesn't have a zoo or didn't have a zoo. Um, yeah, let me just let me just double check that because mm. you know, you know, never know. We find uh, there's a lion in the area. Um, uh, Conan has a as a as a little. Um, uh, a, a little aquarium, uh, but you know, yeah. nothing. Nothing I think we can rule nothing. out. No, no. Yeah, no you fish. can rule out fish. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, I'll probably rule but out you, the cows as well. Yeah, probably, probably rule out the cows people. as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, you've got wolves and wild dogs as well. Yeah. But it's kind of wolves bear, would, right? would would bite. So yeah, possibly the only thing that could yeah. probably take down a man like that would be a, a person, a bear, or. A, a train, but there's no train tracks in the. Well, the train tracks are actually in Conan. There's no train tracks where you are. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, he's like shrugs. Probably a big wolf, bear maybe. As um, did um, can't remember her name. The girl. Did she bring his gun or is she, Harry? Has he, has he no, his, his his gun's not there. No. She she went um, back out. Or she's not she's not around at the moment. You asked Alan. No, she went out to get some rabbits. She she trapped. Uh, he, why was he on he, his own? He, what was he doing? He went out hunting. Terry was already out, and Dolly went out hunting. He's, he's lost his gun, um, and we'd notice that he's not got his knife as well, wouldn't we? Um, uh, no, he hasn't got his knife. Did he? Did you? He didn't use a knife, did you? He did use he did, he yeah, your knife. Yeah, knife, knife, knife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His yeah, his knife is is gone as well. Um, let's have a look. Let's, I mean, let's he could have been attacked, and somebody's pinched his stuff. <laughs> Why? They, what, they'd have just killed him, wouldn't they? Have done to have left him alive. More than but likely. This animal is like a claw mark on his head. So yes. I can presume. Maybe his, a bear. His, like gun, his gun is gone, but his is. Um, his personal med kit, although it's now being used, that is still, you know, what the re- remnants of that are actually in his, uh, in his pack, and he was also carrying. You know, he went out, went out. Uh, he had the, the, he had the other, the other R three ninety two radio, which you assume that Terry has used that to call him, and he's still got magazine clips for his weapon, just no gun. All right, it's SA-18, it's shit. Um, <laughs> oh, it was shit. <laughs> um, harsh, harsh, but fair. Um, shall we, um, what are we going to do? Well, we, we're going to rest up. He needs to rest, I'll watch him. OK, well, it's probably our early afternoon, so yes, you could. Uh, take a rest if you're going to be active at night. Shall we take a quick break at that point as well while we rest? I, th- I think a quick break at that point will be so good. You guys all spend a little time resting up. You do find a spare weapon for Doddy. Uh, you do find something that he can use because you are going to use him. You're going to need to use him if you're going to attack. Ah. Uh, so, Doddy now has, and you take his uh, his NATO rounds off him. Uh, and he has an AK-74 now. Uh, a quality Soviet weapon. Ooh. Ooh, right, okay. Uh, let's generate some ammo for him. And he has I'd two feel more comfortable ammo. if you had an opportunity to fire it a bit, soldier, <laughs> but uh, can't be calling yeah. attentions to ourselves just yet. No. 
Okay. Wait, didn't he... Fritz Bank. Wait, Dodd, didn't you go hunting with a rifle? Where's your rifle? Hi. <clears throat> I did. Yes. Yes, I don't know at this point, but don't worry. Listen, it all... I'm sure everything will make sense. Uh, just in a minute. I'll be fine. Wait, are you going to be Frank, okay? He, Frank, he's not going out unless you clear him for active duty. Oh, no. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I'll be fine. I'll just <laughs> keep a minute. I mean, I, I, would I be able to tell he's got a concussion? Yeah, he's, you can tell he's got a concussion. Yeah. yeah. He's not A1. <laughs> But we need every man, don't we? But who is who Listen. is a one in this post-apocalyptic world? Uh, why you why you are arresting? Up. Terry does Ter- Terry does come in, and she comes in with Frank's uh, not Frank uh, with Doddy's um, flat his, his helmet, his Kevlar helmet, and she kind of holds it and shows you, and there is a huge crack in the side where his uh the, the wound is and mm. that helmet is is kind of not yeah it's not going to provide any protection anymore so he's got a yeah yeah no helmet he's still got his flag vest but no helmets i i, I, I i'm give afraid him you're my not helmet. getting your deposit back for that one hi <laughs> you broke your hat <laughs> it, it did break it quite 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 badly yes I you am giving him your hat. Naughty, my helmet, yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, I can have my gun. Up. I no, no, he's, the carbine. He's, yeah, no, he's he's got a, an AK. Um, there was a spare Soviet assault rifle in the um, uh, in the Bradley. Um, so you're giving him your, your Kevlar helmet. Yep, I'm so going to delete Doddy. it from my sheet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I've put it on Doddy's sheet, so just delete it from yours. Yep. You don't have the helmet. Thank you. Gotta protect that noggin, bud. <laughs> yes. Can't okay. lose you. A few more like that. Yeah, you eh? do. Ugh. Rest up for a few hours. Um, I uh, didn't find your, your your gun though, but there, there were some tracks. Big, big tracks. This is after Animal resting, tracks. right? Is this after resting? Yeah, it's after resting, yes. Aye, don't yes. have his, his, his recollection back after a couple hours. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. That's okay, thank you. Right, sorry. Sorry. Uh, you... Yes, you do get a, a little bit of recollection back, and... Yeah, you remember the bear. And you remember... the foxhole. And you remember Lieutenant Parker and your wife. Still, quite visible memories there. But you know, Parker's dead, and well, your wife's in Scotland. My. Whether you, whether you tell any of these, that is entirely up to you. Oh no, 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 no! That does not happen. <laughs> that stays firmly in my head. I say to them, uh, "Look, I was." Stupid, right? I went off hunting. I wasn't going far. It was a bear-shaped train that hit me. <laughs> what, whatever Listen. we're doing in the period where we're resting, it's very obvious that Rick is hovering okay. close to Dottie, just keeping an eye on him. Not like, you know, not letting him do his thing, but like Rick is present wherever Dottie is and watching him to make sure he's okay. Okay, yeah, that sounds okay. So yes, you rest up. It's it's early evening now. Eyes, it's still sticking fairly close to Dotty, and and every now and again he starts sniffing your clothing, Dotty. As if trying to. I mean, we're talking about the dog, not a scent. Grayston. Yeah, um, the dog, <laughs> not Grayston. Yes, yes, the dog. Yes, pies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. he's easy. <laughs> and yeah. And every now and again, you, you, in fact, you, you would all see this at various points. Every now and again, you, 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 you almost see 
eyes almost whine as he is as, as he's sniffing uh as he's sniffing Dolly. So right, I'm looking Dolly. around. Oh. Yes. Uh no, not especially. Dolly. Okay. Can you please for me knock off one of those temporary rad points? But I want you to roll a single D6 for me. Oh, you're going to mutate, buddy. You're going to have a mutation. <laughs> no, he's not going to have a mutation. Or you're going to grow a third arm. Yeah. Then you're okay. Out of your neck. And then we're going to have to go and hunt down the intelligent bear that stole your rifle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, ba- basically, uh, a, certain, a certain result on the dice uh, will turn the temporary rad you had into a permanent rad. Uh, but uh, the first one, as you are away from the contaminant, has now faded from you as such, as you are, you know, cleaned up and the wound is cleaned up. And then in the morning, we'll do another D6 run, run, roll for the second rad and see if you get a permanent one added or not. So, yes, it is now early evening. It's summer, remember? You, you think... It's June still, but it's it's definitely getting close to July. God, it's only been a matter of two weeks since the destruction and the devastation of the 5th Mechanized Infantry Division. Has it only been that short amount of time? And you're still only about, you know, you're going back towards Calis. Well, the irony of this for you guys is a little bit more realistic as you think about the crossing and the bridge. So, what are your plans? Charlie, how are you feeling? I am all right. It's no fun when you can't even remember the last few hours, but it comes back slow. I'm all right now. Denis, worry. What have you found? What are we doing? What's, uh, what, what, are we go, what are we at? Are you going to be able to handle that AK? It, it, it kicks back like a... Well, it kicks back way more than what you're used to. Ma, it doesn't it kick as hard as a horse or the bear that smacked me, that's for sure. I'll be fine. How's your eye? I think you'll be able to take out two uh, machine gunists with me. Hi, I'm with you. All right. I think we do it tonight. That sounds good. About time we got and let's get Terry in on this. Um, okay. So. So. What is the plan then? Who's going where? The Bradley does need another crew member to act as commander. I believe you were discussing putting Frank in that slot. Frank, you're quite happy about that because he's at least got a bit of armor around you. <laughs> <laughs> but it does mean you're going to have to spot targets. And you make the decision about what is fired and when and where. Oh, I'm wondering if. Uh, wondering if I should take Dottie to the other side and let you guys be the stronger force attacking the front. Uh, I don't know, Grayson, is is that going to happen? No, I'm with Dottie. All right, so then uh, you're going to stay with Dottie in the front. I'm going to head towards the back. Um, Isaac, probably. Isaac, I'm guessing you could still snipe from the other side of the bridge the two machine gunists on the first side as well, just as effectively. Probably not. Silly question. 
The machine gun yes. on the other side of the bridge, is it facing it's our facing, way or is it facing no, the roadway? It's, it's facing, facing the, the roadway. It, it's basically it's protecting inside, against yeah. any vehicles that, that come in. What are you thinking, Frank? <laughs> No, just um, so they're they're going to be looking the wrong way anyway when we attack from the other side. Um, so it's just they attacking go. the tank in, they're just going to hear us coming, aren't they? Yeah, uh, Frank, how are you with the rifle? Uh, I can shoot one. Uh, um, Frank's going to be in the Bradley. No, I know. I'm, the, uh, I'm just worried command, about Dottie. The commander's be better got, um, in the... the commander's uh, turret thing's got a machine gun, and I can use a machine gun. I've got a machine gun skill. He is skilled right, with a machine so, gun, yes. Yeah, there you your, go. Your, uh, your priority will be to take out that machine gunner's nest so that they can't blow up the bridge and keep all soldiers away from going to that nest to try to blow up the bridge. Uh, they're going to hear that tank coming a mile off, and they are going to be on edge. There's no way to bring up that, that Bradley silently. So it's going to have to start as soon as you guys are within firing range. Me hearing you fire is what's going to set off us taking out the machine gunner's nest on the other side. Okay, so Kobe. Where on the other side are you planning to begin your assault from? Well, uh, there is a fork in the road that I can see from here, and we do have a uh, cover of trees and, and bushes, it looks like, from the uh, southern, yep. southeastern side. Um, so I would you... probably be looking at that area. Okay. So... There's another berm, but I don't think we're going to be able to see through the the uh, the trees and the bushes there. So we're going to have to be a little bit more exposed. All right. So you're going to be making your way across there and uh, across the river. Yeah. OK, so I want you to make a mobility roll for me, please. Just to make sure there's no problems. Oh, of course. Right, Frank. I'm going to put you over by the Bradley. Um, you are in the Bradley, and you can access the Bradley. So you should be able to see all of the Bradley stuff, and um, you should be able to click open the Bradley. You should be able to click on the combat, and you should be able to uh, click on the general purpose machine gun to attack. You just need to, when you bring up the um, thing, you just need to prig up. Oh, why have I got Rick Grayson in this commander? Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a new, it's, it's a new, it's a new, it's a new, it was a new token. So let me uh, put you in there. Um, so you should be able to click on the Bradley as a token. Yeah, I'm in it. I'm looking at it. Yeah, you're in it. And basically what you do when you want to attack with the GP, General Purpose Machine Gun, you click on the, the secondary weapons, you choose yourself. Um, it will then bring up... Oh, please insert a magazine. Okay. It's got two belts of ammo for that one. Because um, it's a new weapon, isn't it? Okay, he's got one mag for the tow launcher, and he has... Oh, he's going to be firing high explosive ammunition with the chain gun if he fires it. Okay, Isaac. And mm -hmm. let's put Doddy on there as well. So Doddy and Grayson are right next to it. Where, where's Ezak going to be wanting to snipe from? Um, uh, it could do with a. I mean, you could come over around. to here. Well, the berms give you a little bit of cover. Um, there's Wait, no real leave high ground Kobe here. on the far side on his own. Or is I thought Ezak yeah, was going over to the far side. 
the problem with the far side is if he goes over the far side he's not going to have the angle to shoot these guys and you've also got the two tents down here whereas you've only got one tent over there mm. Mm. and right, at the moment so... when you're there you are only seeing four four men on the bridge so the rest of them are either going to be away or more than likely in the tents. So it's up to you guys where Isaac is going to go. I think it's up to Isaac. <laughs> it's not under I mean, command. if Isaac wants a position where he is able to shoot, he could come down to uh, this area. Same where that is. Where you? Uh, south berm, south of the road. What is the thing? The button that lets you t uh, t uh, ping them. Ping them. Left up. click. Hold it. You just hold it. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah. If you've got them down. Yeah. There we oh, go. there. Yeah. Because yeah. that oh, is okay. from there. You're only, you know, fifty meters away from most targets, and you'll be able to shoot most things. Okay, including those guys over there the ones over over the on Kobe's side it's probably going to be Kobe that has to take them out yeah I think there it, is, makes, there it is. makes a lot of sense yeah there's there's no elevation period so I mean if you went over to over to there you have a little bit of cover mm -hmm. um, so if anyone shoots back only your head and your arms will be exposed yeah unfortunately uh, because... both of those bits <laughs> yeah, you do need both those bits, yeah. But basically, if, if an attack comes against you and they roll leg or body, you'll get some extra protection, effectively, from the cover you've got. Or no, it's only a dirt mound, you'll get some protection from it. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know where the best position will be, but I'm assuming... That's <laughs> that good. probably a good position, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, your, your gun is a sniper rifle, so it's fairly good. Yeah. And also, because uh, Maria, who is a competent person, her and her daughter are in the Polish truck up north of the Bradley. Fair distance away. Uh, on the left hand side, so it is up here. He's in Why the Polish truck. Why are they here? Well, it's more the fact that you ain't gonna have necessarily have a chance to go back and why stay at a campsite when That's she fair. can be close yeah. to protection. Yeah. But she is, because she's looking after her daughter. Although she is competent with firearms, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to assist you. So I tell Dottie once the Bradley rolls up the road and takes that machine gunner nest, he and I need to make for these, uh, oh, there we go, these tents and take Bye. care of anybody who might be in there. I got my boss. Got them while they're sleeping, huh? Mm hmm. It is going to take you a couple of turns from where you are because each of these large hexes is effectively a 10 meter sure. bracket. Can we move? So, I mean, this whole thing is a berm, right? Can't we get a little bit yes. closer? If you want to move closer, yes. All I would need to do is I will have a, um, a recon check from you guys. As Kobe had to make a mobility check to get in position, I'm going to need a recon check for stealth for you guys. Oh, and are we attacking at daybreak? Uh, we night time at night. It's yeah. I mean, it's it's summer, so the night is not that dark. It's not quite that. It's not cloudy. It's not the bad weather. Um, yeah. So probably it's about I don't know about ten o'clock in the evening. <laughs> it's why well, it's Daddy's token rotated. I have no like idea. I, I think I, I think he was laying down. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Hang on. Actually, should That's we have him funny. that way? There we yeah, go. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's got yeah. a concussion. He's got a concussion. A he doesn't know confused. what was up or down. 
So yeah, if you want to, if you want to, one of you make a, a recon roll. Okay. I, mean, I, I rolled. Is that wise? I was just pressing buttons. He's still <laughs> both, both rolling, so I rolled. But I don't have recon. Go on then. I'll, I'll, using... I'll, 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 I'll let you roll, Rick, as well. Go on. Let's have a roll for you as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, Do we need to use the night vision goggles at all? No, you should be okay. Yep. There's, there's enough natural light. I'm just going to make... Okay. Okay, so yeah, you get up to the burn. Okay, Frank. You are in the Bradley. You have the Bradley's radio, so you can take instructions from... Well, Doddy's got one radio, and Kobe has the other radio. But you are there in the commander's seat of the Bradley. Feeling the power. Terry has got the the Bradley just gently, gently turning over, gently, just gently revving it, ready to go. You can see Dallas is there. He's on the controls for the chain gun. So, your Bradley commander, uh, you any good with that, uh, that machine gun up there? Uh, yep, I know how to use one. Cool, now do, do you want me to take anything out? I mean, what do you want me to spray? Uh, I've got this thing loaded with high explosive uh, 25 millimeter rounds. Uh, ain't gonna do nothing against that engineering vehicle. That's a T72 hull. Now the only thing we've got um, is the tows. Not interested in the vehicles. Just toast the sandbag machine gun nest. Okay. And then I'll I'll just watch if anybody else tries to make a move towards it. I'll I'll, I'll machine gun them. Okay. Um, is there any? We can't. We don't have a visual across the bridge to the other emplacement, do we? The bridge is in the way. No, you can't. You can't see anything on the other side. No, not without getting. But you, you would need still... to. You you would need to get up to um, on the bridge, onto there, uh, before you could shoot across. But you can still radio uh, me. Yeah. Like I, I have to let you I know don't... when I'm in position. Yep. Yeah. As I said, Kobe has what? a radio, Doddy has a radio, and the Bradley has a radio. So you have command of the Bradley's radio. What, um, what was the range on an RPG? Is it about 100 meters or something? 80 meters? Um, RPG Don't want to get too seven. close. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. So that's a, that's a very good question. How, how far is the range? Of course. RPG 7V has a short range of six hexes. Okay. So it has a medium range of 12 hexes, oh, right. a long range of 24 hexes. Um, oh, we can get hit. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there is every chance that you could get hit. Yeah, as soon yeah. as it sails, they'll run off. Could well be. Okay. The bit conscripts. So, um, what's what shall I do from there? Am I breaking? Th can can we um, break through those trees, or do we have to go down the road onto the main road back up? You you, you can uh, you can go through this gap here. We will be able to There's get enough. through. You'll be able to get through there. I'd rather uh, go we... through there than. Gone a mile Terry, on Terry, road. Terry is going to have to make a a mobility roll as long as she doesn't fuck up. I'm sure she won't. Now, have you all guys? Have you all got uh, on the macro bar at the bottom on your foundry? Uh, if you go to the macro directory and uh, Twilight 2000 roll macros, there should be a draw initiative one. I've got it already. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. if you can stick that on your on your bar. What we will do is you are going to have a surprise action, but we are going to roll initiative. How do we do the macro thing? I've no idea how to do that. OK, so if you if you go to the browse on your, your tab at the bottom, browse macro yeah. directory, you can pull yeah. the macro <sighs> onto the bar. 
And if it's on your bar in one of those two slots, you'll be able to use it. And I am just going to reset the initiative deck so all cards are shuffled back in. I've oh. clicked on it and it just says search, okay. search macros. Okay. Uh, maybe you're going to be clicking on your token. So I'll just move your token out. I don't know. Just have a look. One rushed him. Well, you got a one. There you go. There you go. Jake chose six. So if you could all roll initiative. Okay. Nope. Select token. Uh, and oh, but I haven't got the reverse initiative tag on, have I? No, I haven't. Of course I haven't. Right, let me just take one of those. Ooh. Of course. Oh, 10's bad. That's right. Ten, yeah, ten's ten's, ten's yeah. very bad. Yeah. But you I, also I, got I, a 1. Uh, yes, someone got a 1. Frank got a 1, which is, is quite nice. So, let me just put... Oh, I see you. Uh, Frank. Gotcha. Yes, I pulled for Frank. Because <clears throat> for some reason, maybe you picked up the wrong one. I don't know. But all of the Soviets will act on the 10 card. Oh, I didn't roll for pies. Oh, hang on. Where's pies? I'm sure I had pies on the map, hidden away. Sorry, pies is good dog. He's a good dog. Wait, wait, you could still also roll for a very intelligent bear with an M16. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let that bear uh, control. We, we don't know if it's friendly, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a Russian not bear. A, not friendly to Dottie. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, Pies was on there twice. Hang on. Uh, so, I have an eight on Pies. And we'll move that one. Okay. So, for some reason, I haven't got the, uh, the, uh, the, the correct module in for reversing it. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to have to play fast and loose with the initiative. But anyway, you are there. Ready to go. So, Frank, is the instruction to move through the trees? And where, uh, yeah. on the map, where you want Terry to be? In fact, you move, <laughs> you move to Bradley where you want Terry to be. There looks to be a gap through there, so she drives through there. Yeah. Okay, and she stops there. Uh, if we've got a visual on the bridge, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Can we see the emplacement from there. You can see the emplacement from there. Okay. Let's let's just hope that she doesn't um, doesn't uh, pull a track or anything like that because you know I suppose it's, it's, kind of tree. it's, it's possible. Yeah, anything is indeed possible. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. There's Dallas. There's Terry. She's going to make a driving check. She has racer. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a dog driving. The deck. <laughs> uh, did I have? Uh, I have. I have pies. But no, it's not pies driving. It's her driving. He said, "I got." Just, just leave me alone, you. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, I don't know what um, we we're expecting to be honest. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Frankie what were charge. You expecting? Pies driving. driving. Right? Yeah. Somebody better push it. Push it. Push it real good. <laughs> Okay. Can, can pies push? No. Not can Terry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, <laughs> so. That's, wow. not place to, that's not a place to put a roadblock. <laughs> Effectively, <laughs> he bangs the Bradley uh, into a tree. The gap is not as wide as she <sighs> thinks. <laughs> and. That's the wing mirror. Uh, at that point, <laughs> Dallas um, 
targets the two individuals uh, at the uh, the gun sight uh, with the auto cannon. He is going to fire a four round burst and he is going to target the front one. Eight. Oh. Okay. He spends. Okay, suddenly the. <laughs> of this 25mm auto cannon uh, goes off. And they, the shells just kind of bounce over this gentleman on the left um, through the sandbags, through the first individual, uh, does five lots of damage for him. And as the shells impact into him, these shells are the high explosive shells. And how can I how can I politely put this? Um, well, it turns into uh, red uh, mist here. Yeah. Um, Rips him a new oh, one. The explosive. Um, explodes all through this area. Your arms off. <laughs> this is his arms uh, 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 are gone. Um, it, it's merely a flesh wound. Um, so, yeah, this guy. Um, well, how can I put it if I click the right button because it's so freaking small? Um, he goes absolutely dead, dead as a doornail as these bullets brace up through him and impact into him. Um, the one next to him, um, well, let's just say that the the explosiveness of the uh, the weapon uh, impacts again on his fellow friend and it's a D so it's 2d6 so we're just gonna roll that there okay da -da -da -da. The second guy um, has to make a corners under fire check. He succeeds. Okay. He doesn't panic. Doddy. Uh, I'm sorry. Who's next on initiative? Well, let's let's have let's have let's have Rick go next because this is the surprise action. So, Rick, uh, okay. not Rick, Kobe, Kobe, sorry, oh, Kobe. Kobe, yep, Kobe. Right. So, uh, I'd like to know if uh, just prior to calling the action, um, yep. did my night goggles indicate that there were other warm bodies in the area other than the two? Uh, your night vision goggles aren't seeing any because of the trees you cannot see through to where the tents are okay so um, at the moment um, your only two targets are over here so i uh, i'm actually going to aim my m203 and fire a um grenade at them I, oh. think I, have, I have four four left and we have okay. to make quick action of this. You, you do have to make quick. Uh, nice. Like it. Okay. So, uh, where are you targeting? Which one are you targeting? Or rather, you're targeting. Uh, it's it's an explosive uh, grenade. Right? Yeah. So, so it it's... will be it will be targeting that hex there. And so let's just kind of let's actually just right. kind of move him to there. So it's targeting this hex here. Is where okay. you're targeting. So, um, make a heavy weapons roll with your M203. Okay, and uh, uh, please insert a magazine. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. Uh, so, basically, on your so, 203, you basically oh, sorry, yeah. go down. I choose and... the round. You got it. Yeah. Got uh, it that's there. it. Yeah. 
and nine. Nice. All right. A hit. The the shell lands. No, sorry, the grenade rather lands directly into them. Um. Does three lots of damage, and then has a blast radius of a D. So they are all going to take because they have no armor, because these are yes. also they have helmets. So they have no armor on their arms. So they are all going to take. Okay, so that's the initial uh, attack damage. Uh, would you roll for me 2d6 using dice tray at the bottom for me, please? Oh, sorry, that's wrong. I okay, we'll, we'll ignore that one. That's okay. We'll ignore that one. And yeah. I just... I've got plus... Uh, oh, it's not... Oh, well, I, I choose the d6. I add a plus for yep. two. Let's just do it manually. Yeah. And enter. Did that roll? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Not nice. That, that's that's not kind of uh, of, of no. that good. Um, that's only a D rating, so it's only going to impact in the ten meter square there. <laughs> Let me just double check with the two ones. I think they just don't take any more damage. Uh, Ba, 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 ba. Last damage. Damage is a main for one for each additional one. Okay, so no, they're not going to take any damage, but they are going to have to both make a corner under fire roll because they have taken hits. Ah, uh, so. Ooh, nice. He is fine. There we go. But fear does indeed spread, and they both have to make one. Three. Okay. Three. This one dives down uh, right uh, by what's left of the sandbags that's protecting him. Uh, the other one is turning the gun, and he's looking for the arc of where the grenade came from. Okay. Let's, let's right. have our, our sniper next, because he would have been aimed, ready, at the uh, at the bridge. So you know that the the sandbag on your side, Isaac, mm -hmm. one has gone down. The other one seems to be alive and uh he seems to be trying to wrestle the gun out of his dead comrades um arms and that is and that, this guy here and i can see him from where you I'm... can see him yes you can see him uh i suppose um, that's 52 hey. yards what's the range on your Ooh, your mate. weapon. Now you're asking me something. Now I'm asking uh, a serious question. Range 10. 10. Okay, so that's fine. That's just a standard uh, right. shot. 10 hexes. Yeah, and you are okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, about 6 hexes away, so you're fine. Yeah. Um, okay. It's a rate of fire 2. Do I get to fire 2 shots here? Yes, it's a semi-automatic. If you click on the rate of fire, it's a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Okay. Uh... So with the second shot, if, if you hit the second shot, uh, can go into if I, him. If I hit with the first shot. If you hit <laughs> your skills. I am, I am yeah, absolutely gonna, confident in uh, your ability. Plus one, uh, the sniper I have. Uh, plus yep. Two. Make your attack roll. Go for it. Brilliant. Um, he is behind the sandbag, yeah. and your damage has in hit the him leg. In the leg. So, what is the damage on your weapon? Uh, it is uh, three. Three. Okay, and the crit rating on it is three. Crit rating is three. 
Okay, so it does three points of damage to him. Uh, but he does have effectively one point of protection on his legs. So he is going to take only two points of damage. So there is no crit there. He is going to make a Cornus Under Fire roll. And he fails his Cornus Under Fire roll. Now, you did... Um, for any additional... No, so your second shell didn't actually hit anywhere. Okay. So that is your surprise action. Okay. Out of the way. Doddy and Rick. You see gunshots have fired. Several have gone down. You do see... Uh... One individual running out of this tent by the armoured vehicle. You can just see him through the trees. Um, he's kind of just wearing his um, trousers. Gun is is there, but he's kind of looking around as if, what the fuck is fire and explosions that have gone off around uh, where the Bradley has taken. Um, so, what do you do? I rolled nine on my initiative, so I'll go last. That's no, okay. So this is this is this is the surprise action. Oh, right. So okay. this is the action that you are all ready for. Yeah, I'll still go last. Go for it, Brian. Okay, Grayson. Then. So <sighs> these trees here are providing cover from the tents, right? They are providing cover from the tents. Yes. So I want to head here and try okay. and come in from behind. Okay, so you can you can run one hex. If you want to run any, run any more than one hex, you need to make a mobility roll. Each success allows you to run an additional hex. Okay, I will try to make an, uh, a mobility roll for running. Yep. Now that I got feet again. Now that you got feet again, yes. Still probably not going to be successful, but we'll give it a go. I, I, I have this some faith in you. One, but I at two, least made it to here. Yes. So you, you could try and push it if you wanted to. No, I'm not going to uh, push you, you, you have not made it any further than and that. And I'm put, put my back to a tree, you know, use some okay. cover. Okay, yep. Yep, okay. So, Doddy, you see Grayson. Seems to struggle with the, the forest ground as he moves over there. And he tucks in by a tree with his weapon. What are you doing? Doddy is in a different hex, so he's going to have to use just that to get into the next hex. Yeah. I mean, you, you can shoot at the remaining Soviet engineer that's alive in the bunker. I can move that and is where shoot the control. That is that. that ah, uh, you can move and shoot. Yeah. Yes, but you can only move one, effectively one hex. Yeah, well, I just want to get into that next hex, so that I'm in a position to run across the gap because I don't fancy uh, being. Exposed. I can't shoot because I tried to run, right? You try. Yes, you you tried yeah. to go for for more than one hex. Yep. Just make sure. So I'll move into that next hex, maintaining the cover behind the berm, and I will take a shot at the remaining. Uh, member of the the pill. Okay, so, so move on. move where you want. So move one X and you're yep. going to shoot. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, target there. You go for that one. You're going for that one there. Yeah, I think so. Um, he is gonna. You're gonna have a minus one on your attack. Uh, purely because he is uh, has taken cover and he is trying to hide at the minute. So when you click your attack with your weapon, so can you come back with your AK? That's oh, our new gear tab. That's it. Great fire. Uh, that's it. You, you can fire a single shot, or you can spray with as many bullets as. I will fire. Well, your red fire shot. will spray. Fire a single shot. Excellent. So just go minus one. 
Seven. Nice. Okay. Torso. Beautiful. Straight into the torso. Uh, damage on your AK is two. Um, he has no armor on his torso, um, but he's only taken two. So yes, you plant uh, a, a shot into his chest, and it seems to hurt him, uh, but he doesn't go down. And he is, as you're now seeing, he's under fire from multiple locations. He's looking behind him as if he's looking for something. Mm-mm. Okay. Frank. The roll that Terry made was to get into the initial position. So, what are you doing? Are you ordering her to move closer? Or are you just going to try and take a shot with the commander's gun from there? She is. She has been um, trying to maneuver the Bradley out of the tree that's been blocking her. So, what are your instructions to her? Just stay where she is for the time being. Um, I'll spray the... Um the guy that's been hit twice. Okay, now, before you do spray said guy. I say spray, uh, I don't mean shoot. <laughs> well, you know. I don't mean, ah, uh, just, I want to take him out. <laughs> you want to try, try and take him out. Okay, um, let me just check the weapon. Because it is the 249, isn't it? Uh, I just want to check the range on the 249. Uh, God, I'm using the book today. I'm really happy. <laughs> uh, range often, 8. You, range 8. Okay, so yes, you've got plenty of range. Uh, that's 8, so 16 hexes. So you are... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! So you are nine hexes away. So you have a few negatives, I'm afraid. Uh, purely because he is down. Um, and. Um, you're at medium range. You got minus one for being at medium range. You are aiming. Um, he's not moving. You're firing from. No, you're not firing from moving vehicle because you didn't say that. So it'd be minus two to shoot him. So bring up the weapon. Uh, select yourself with a 240. Uh, and then you basically put in the plus and the minus box a minus two. Do I get. I've got machine gunner, but that gives me yes, plus you can, one. Yes, you, so. you can click machine gunner. So in the modifier, you put a minus one, and then you click the machine gunner. I'm clicking on the vehicle machine gun, aren't I? Yes, the M240B. Yeah. Okay, Frank, you're targeting. <clears throat> so, here goes. Okay. Beautiful. So you spent 15 rounds of ammunition. You turn the uh, gun. Um, your initial few rounds miss him. But you did put a, an ammo dice on there, which means that your second round, you can either choose to put in another target or a same target. So I guess you're going to go with the same target. And what is the uh, yeah. damage? I think it's negligible because uh, he's only got damage, one hit point uh, left. Uh, it's um, damage, damage, damage. Three. Yeah. Your bullets arc along the road. And the, the last few just kind of impacting in the sandbag and one kind of impacts into his uh, into his torso and it kind of blows him back off. You can see he had some sort of controller in his hand that just kind of falls out and bounces on the ground. <laughs> and that now is everyone that's taken their surprise round. It, it, it bounces on the ground and falls face up, not face down. 
And then it lands see on it. Kobe from where you are. You <laughs> cannot see it. <laughs> um, it's the time. Ten past twelve. Twelve past eleven. Okay, right. So we go back to initiative order. And initiative order is fucked up beyond all recognition. So, uh, Frank, you're first. So, what are you doing? Um. I can't see anybody else from you where I am, can I? Anybody else from where you are? So I'll just I'll be keeping watch just to see if anybody might manu- come out of these trucks, the, the jeep and the truck. Okay, um, you want to move in closer? Gonna... You can see Terry is yeah. revving the thing as if she wants to get closer. Yeah, so you find a way through. Okay. So then reverse right. and then she. Go back in. Yeah, just reverses back just a fraction, then she guns her foot on the accelerator, both hands on the uh, controls for the Bradley. And she is going to attempt... (laughs) You know, she's such a good driver, you know. You realise how good a driver she is. She's fantastic. (sighs) I with trees. It's trees. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, oh, my... Wow. Frickin' hell! Nice! She uh, literally puts her foot on uh, on the accelerator and she moves um, the Bradley. Uh, so she's in that one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, she goes to, to four there. Right um, for me. And yeah. <clears throat> okay. So she has gunned it as her action is on the same initiative level as yours. So she is acting with you. So you now have the ability to do something. You do see. Uh, one other individual just just over here or you have this truck you could uh, you could fire Um, and you can see um, you can see Dallas is turning the auto cannon should I spray the tents Could do. <laughs> the answer to that is always yes. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking it might be better off spraying the truck. But are we wanting to keep any vehicles? Or we just want v- to. Vehicles will be good if they have fuel in. You've already said as well that you didn't want to. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna machine gun the guy. So if he's wanting to shoot the tents, yeah. Okay. All right. We know there's other men about, so... Oh. Ouch. He... He fires. He shoots this also cannon. And and it's it's quite funny. Shells kind of impacting the ground uh, to, to the right side of the individual that stood there. Little shells. Small little explosions. And the... the, the the bullets kind of go wild past the tent here and start impacting into the blocks on the bridge. And there's a few sparks of of the bullets hitting metal, small little explosions from these high explosive uh, rounds. And uh, he, he totally, totally and utterly misses the... Yeah. Um, the uh, the uh, the tent that was there. It's not like there's anything dangerous on the bridge, is it? It's no, it's just, all fine. Just, just some explosives. Yeah, 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 hmm. yeah. If I <laughs> if I've got sight on the guy, I'll shoot the guy. Okay, uh, so you don't have the minus two, um, but he is moving out of the tent. So effectively, you're going to have a minus one, which will be negated by your machine gunner. So minus one, and then click the machine gunner. And then you spray away, mate. Spray away. It's just one guy. Just one guy is all you can see at the moment. It's the only one that's come out. 
Um, a rate of fire four fires 15 bullets and there's 100 on a belt. Well, no, it, do, it doesn't fire 15, but it fires based on... It fires oh, you roll about that. Um, D6. Yeah. Ah, yes. so it could be like 24 yes. bullets max, can it? It could be, bullets. yes. A bit of overkill. Um, yeah. I'll just do two for rate of fire then. Two for rate of fire, okay, yep. I'll go, not go too crazy. Um, uh, so it's just a standard roll, isn't it? Um, standard roll, yeah. Just again, click the gun, that's it. Oh man. Oof. Ooh. What are the two? <laughs> two ones there that you roll. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> is that the gun <laughs> that is, that is. <laughs> do you want to push that roll um yeah yeah because at the moment you're not hitting him but if you push the roll there's a chance scary, that the gun it? could get damaged and the chance All right. that you could actually hit him if i don't push it the gun doesn't get damaged no no that's fine it's just at the moment you have missed Oh, uh, I'm going to push it. So, <laughs> for it. Um, so it's the push button, isn't it? Like the push button. My left roll. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, weapon jam. Oops. Because <laughs> you, yes, mm. you do you do the one. actually you do actually hit him, um, and you do hit him in the head. And how much damage does that mm. gun do? Add three. Three. Um, I'll give him a day. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you have, uh, you have uh, indeed giving him a headache. But is it like being hit in the there. head by an irradiated bear? <laughs> <laughs> Your gun jams as one of the bullets jams in the gun and it's going to need to be unjammed <clears throat> okay I'll have Isaac. to run him over <laughs> Isaac you're next um <laughs> this fella's still alive is he? Uh, this fella is still alive. Yeah, the uh, the bullets have you know, packed into the bastard, ground. Isn't he? It's, it's like uh, maybe a shell fragment has has hit him in the head. He's he's got blood coming out of a head wound, but he hasn't gone down. Basically, your, your hit points are there, and, and as, as as minor flesh wounds, it's only when you get down to zero yeah, that I mean, shit really happens. Can can I can can I Isaac see him from there? I think you can see him from there. That's all right then. If you, you say can, stand. you can exactly see him from there. Okay. It's a direct line. Then, um, I think he's that's going to attempt to at least try and finish the guy off. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Oh, there's no ammo left. I would have reloaded, wouldn't I? Ah. Uh... No, you need to make. If you were out of ammo, you. No, are I mean going before to... we started the fight, I oh, think. Oh, you, you fired one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did, but you, I didn't fire you... ten bullets, did I? <laughs> no, all right, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I suppose, yeah, we should have <laughs> should have checked that. You know, I'm going to be nice to you. Um, I am going to be nice to you. Uh, and I'll do it for 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 speed. Uh, yeah, we you do have one, and then we're just going to knock uh, two, two rounds that off on it. that on that one. Yeah, we're going to knock two rounds off that one. Uh, um, yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll sort that out as we go. Remember, we've got oh, two okay. rounds left. Okay, go on, fire. Yeah. Um. Okay. Two. Uh, one. Uh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake! Are you going yeah. to push the roll? Yes, I am. Oh. No. Whoa! Nine and ten. Wow. That's another ten oh, and nine. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Very, very nice. Jeez. Ammunition spent 13. 
Uh, well, yeah, there's, there's a, yeah, you, you, are, you have emptied out, so you basically, it's semi-automated, uh, you have emptied out effectively the uh, SWD, so you have no ammo left in your sniper rifle now. But uh, you, you do put two of the rounds impact into his chest, and your weapon does three damage, yeah. and uh, yeah. Um, you literally two shells kind of shatter open his chest. He had no armor there. He's he's he's, 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 he's an untanned uh, Soviet soldier. Blood and bone and the heart kind of explodes as he goes down. Dead, dead, dead. But. You now have no more ammo for that weapon of yours. That seems like an oversight, to be honest. <laughs> it is an oversight, but you know, that's the thing is, is you know you have limited amounts of ammo and you have kind of used it. It's the heat of battle. And yes, you kind of... And realise you've now only got your short, close-range pistol. Okay. Yeah. Rick, what are you doing? Well, um, I don't, well, I probably would have seen that guy go down. Yeah. Well, with you all may have, explosive shells. Yeah, you may have heard it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe you'd have heard it. I mean, I can see through this small copse of trees, right? You can, I would imagine. Yes, yes, yeah. yes you can. So I would see the body laying. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna continue forward. <clears throat> so technically, I'm in this hex. Okay. Yep. I should be able to move into the hex with the tent, right? Yep. So I'm gonna check inside the tent, see if anybody's in there. Okay. Um. I've got my pistol out. I open the door, the the flap. Yes, there there is one individual uh, that is in the tent. He is at the moment grabbing. Um, uh, I'm just going to move the tent out of the way so you can see him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, at the moment, he is just picking up what well, he has in his hands: uh, his uh, AK assault rifle. Um, But you can do a quick shot on him if you want to shoot him. Or you could try and get him to surrender. <clears throat> I'm gonna go on him having heard all of the uh, the weapons fire and the explosives. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that he speaks any kind of English, but I'm gonna hold out my one hand that's not holding the pistol and say, put it down. Okay. Very authoritatively. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's have a command roll from you. Okay. You can click a plus one modifier uh, because you I, are holding a weapon at him and pointing a weapon at him. That is not going to help, I don't think. I, I have faith in your ability. All right, here we go. Yes. Yeah, so oh. Okay, he kind of just drops his gun, hands going up, and he is shaking. Uh, really is shaking at the uh, the uh, the uh, the the attack and the the fear. Um, okay, you've got him effectively under your control. I missed you out. Sorry, you should have gone before, Rick, but we, we'll go now. What no, are you doing? That's okay. I, I, I'm just considering the possibility that these are really Polish people dressed up as Russians so that everybody's <laughs> afraid of them and doesn't. No. Um, so no, I don't have a lot of good options. Yes, I, I don't have a lot of good options. Um, I'm going to fire um, 
add them because I want to keep at least the other ones suppressed, I'm hoping, and uh, maybe even hit the first one because I don't want to spend the time to load another uh, round. I want to keep pushing to keep these guys' heads down. Um, okay, so you want to attack yeah, with your, I will put your, rate of... your M4 uh, the... now. What's the M4? The range is... Four. Four. It should be four. So you are one, two, three, four. They are five, so you can have a minus one ah. because you're out of short range. No, then I'm going to move forward one. Okay. I'm gonna, yeah, if I'm, yeah, yeah, I think I can move one and then fire, yeah. Okay, we well, still okay. get the minus one because it'll be a quick shot, won't it? Rather than a, um, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the same effect. Okay, so then you know what? Then I may as well just uh, take the minus mm, one and you can be aiming. Yeah, it's gonna be the same effect. Okay, so minus one, and then I'll just increase the rate of fire, hopefully to yep. make up for Which it. Which one are you um, targeting? Are you targeting? I'm gonna. Well, I can only target one. I think one is suppressed, so he's below yep. the. Okay. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and. Nice. Lovely. Eight and six. Um, yeah, you squeeze off automatic fire and you do an Ooh, extra one point of damage on your damage of two. So that'll be three points of damage. Um, mm -hmm. And the unsuppressed one goes down as you defeat him dead and dead and dead yeah. let me just do that and yes he goes down and his 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 colleague next to him is not doing anything but a lovely lovely full burst into the chest kind of straight up not a problem okay i believe that is is you done six so we are now on Pies. Oh, pies. What are you doing, pies? Okay. Uh, pies has a movement. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, he's going for it. Oh, yeah. I just say no. pies. Seek him. Um, <laughs> and he jumps he's over going for it. it. No. Oh. Okay, he 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 starts to he, he starts to to to, to run, uh, and he, he kind of gets to to this hex and kind of stops as he's looking. Am I going? Which way am I going? Which way am I going? Which way am I going? And he's kind of, uh, you see Grayson there, and he looks back at you, and that's his action taken. <laughs> I'm afraid because uh, he failed his mobility roll to to go through several hexes, so he just moves his his hex. Um, Doddy, what are you doing? I am following pies. You? Okay. Um, so you can you can go into you can go into this hex or yeah. this hex without making a mobility roll. If you go, want to go any further, can I go into this hex and and uh, I'm just going to show. Uh, if you make a mobility roll, you can go to that hex. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I jumped one over. Sorry, I meant to be in yeah. one that's one. In that hex, yes, yes. And so then, that's um, one. Just say, uh, I just shout. Uh, um, uh, can I see through it? Can I see the back of Grayson at the tent? Yeah, I, I'd say you can see through the trees. There's, there's, it's, yeah, it's just um, wooden trunks through there. So I say, just yes, you can see loud enough trees. for for Rick to hear. I say, Grayson, yeah. need help. Okay. Can I reply? Yeah, I'll let you reply. Yes, no problem. Got one in this tent. Can I um, attempt a mobility check now to get through into the next? Yeah, yeah, to... yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. So that's what. I'll you do. need to make a mobility check, please. Yep, yep. I'll move back if that fails, which it probably will. Because why would we ever get? Oh, uh, you got it. Roll. <laughs> You're gonna smash it. You got it. There we nope, go. We Let's don't. get all the way back to the trees. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> Okay. Boy, we just we just can't move. <laughs> That's really what this all boils down to. We are incapable of movement. We can't move ourselves. We can't drive vehicles. 
it's obviously that you it's obviously to, to, if Kobe was here to see this he would say that you need to be marching more need to be doing more PT you have been slacking those bellies have been getting bigger on those crappy food rations you've been eating whenever anybody um, tries yes. to move I just hear hear the Benny Hill theme song in the back of yes. my head <laughs> you know, it, it's okay. true. Lieutenant Parker was a bit lax with the PE. Uh, Ooh, harsh! And stuff the like man that, who so, got uh... him killed, <laughs> calling out okay. Parker for being lax. Harsh. Uh, okay. And it's now it's now down to these lovely individuals. You can see running out of this tent, and Grayson, you see him first, and you can't do anything about it. He kind of runs. Uh, into the next hex and next to the uh, uh, the I am, and he's holding an RPG seven. Who do I see? Where? You just see. Sorry, this. Oh. Come out of this tent. Uh, yeah. Run alongside the IMR to the engineer vehicle, and he's holding an a RPG. an RPG seven, and he's heard the engine oh. and he's searching for it and he literally just kind of brings it up and he is going to do a quick fire shot so um, Isaac can see him as well uh, Isaac can see him but Isaac has taken his action and has no well, yeah, has yeah. no enemy has no um has no uh, no stuff so he is going to fire this RPG7 oh this horribly uh, okay. Um, he has no extra Jake's skills. like, let me get the book, let me get the book. <laughs> That's not for that, it's for something else, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> he is... Brings this, uh, this RPG-7 up. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. it is short range. Um... Uh, He's not firing from the it's a it's technically a large target, isn't it? Technically it is a uh, firing a target large range such a vehicle gives you plus two modifier to the attack. Of course it does. Okay, so, so he gets plus two, but he's doing a quick fire, so it's only a, he gets a minus one for that. So he brings this RPG uh RPG seven up. And he kind of aims it, uh, not aims it, he just brings it up in the direction of the Bradley. Look at him smiling. And fires. Oh, it's seven and an eight. Oh, he hit the arms wow. of a tank. I know he hit the <laughs> arms of a tank. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking. That doesn't work because Terry just knocked them off when she crashed into the tree, so. Oh dear, okay. Um, the RPG grenade goes flying towards the Bradley. Um, so it does seven damage. Okay, he got two successes so that's eight damage um the bradley's frontal armor is only five ah okay <laughs> it didn't deviate uh, it hit okay Frank, you see um, a Soviet soldier comes out of the tent with an RPG and he fires. And let's see where he is going to hit. Uh, because the arms are just not right. <laughs> just, 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 just totally and utterly, uh, you know. Okay. Um... So it's the component damage. It penetrates. 
Oh okay. yeah, technically so, it is an APC, an armed personnel carrier, so it does have it, arms it, to strike. Yes, it does. It does <laughs> have arms, yes. <laughs> okay. Where, where does it hit? Okay. Um, draws a result from the command center. No penetration table. Uh, Oof. Okay. Oh, well, 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 well. Draws well, a result from the command center. No penetration table. Did I click the right table? I did. No. Hang on. Oh, no, sorry, I did the wrong table. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Penetrate. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. It did penetrate. Sorry. Uh, I will ignore that one. Okay, it goes straight through the front of the Bradley. Oh, um, that's not so good. it goes for a passenger. Fortunately, <laughs> there is no passenger. So it then goes up the table, and after passenger, it goes through uh, to driver. Alas, poor uh, Terry. We uh, knew you so well. Five foot three, 120 pounds. It's four foot ten now. She's just had her head blown off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you're a you're a you're a harsh, harsh, harsh bastard. I, I'd be more concerned that the explosive rating of the um, uh, the RPG seven is a C. Uh, so that means everyone's going to take some damage from this. Awesome. Um, <laughs> poor Frank. We knew him well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, a bit of shrapnel in my legs. I'll be fine. You here? <laughs> it's fine. You were dying of cholera anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got I'm um, full of radiation. Put me out of my misery. <laughs> you hear a scream from Terry as the RPG shell uh, goes through the armor. It does ablate the armor. Uh, she is not going to die. You're OK. Um, it's got oh. five points of armor on there. And you hear Terry scream as, well, actually, she might die, as the <laughs> shell kind of goes She's faster, not going to die. She might die. Causing damage. And then it explodes inside the Bradley. <sighs> OK. So now we are going to make a uh, explosion attack. So it is a C rating for anyone in the same hex, a D rating for anyone in there. So we do it against. Oh yeah! Fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Eight and a six. The Bradley's just gone, man. Oh Everybody wow! In it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> I've killed everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It was your plan. Good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I'm the one. You better do something quick. He's actually not going to wait anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we say it was a team effort? Can we? <laughs> <laughs> well, none of it's Dottie's fault. Dottie's got a concussion. He's not even sure this is happening. Yeah, right but now. he won't. Yeah, that's right. We'll blame him and he won't be able to argue. <laughs> he won't be able you to know, say it um, one of my New Year's resolutions for 2024 was roll up a new Twilight 2000 character. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be a player kill. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so. The explosion goes off. Uh, Terry is going to take two more points of damage. Uh, she is going to call us under fire. D. OK. OK. You hear scream as Terry kind of is climbing out of the Bradley. 
the explosion blows up any cargo that's in the Bradley. What's in the Bradley? Me. <laughs> well, we're, 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 we're going to get to you very, very soon. I don't care about the cargo. <laughs> I don't think oh, oh, we're the Bradley up, everything, yeah. everything, was, yeah, everything was on the truck, wasn't well, it? Whatever, yeah, yeah, everything spares. was on the truck. I'd take a note of okay. um, and some ammo as well, so there's less ammo. Wait. No. Frank. Yeah. Even the Playboy. The we're not in there. No, the Playboy, the Playboy <laughs> magazine is on the truck. Frank. Playboy magazines in Rick's back pocket rolled up. Like, <laughs> it is. You you take two points of damage. Two points of damage. And can you make a corner on the fire roll? Um, so that's on the combat tab. It, um, is it locational the damage, or is it just like just standard? Um, no, it's it's just going to be every um. Actually, uh, it'll be arms. Effectively, the arms will be um, the location, wasn't it? Was it arms? Yeah, arms. So you have no armor on the arms, so you'll take two points of damage. Oh, Can you make that call on the fire on, please? It's on the, it's on the combat Wait, tab. So click the combat that, tab, and it's yeah, on the left-hand side. Top left, yeah. If you, um, if you fail it, you have to bail out. Whee! If you oh, succeed... Nice. You can choose to bail out, but you're not compelled <laughs> to bail out. Um, the gun is jammed, so I will. I am going to bail out, but out of the back, not obviously. No, no, you, you, yeah. um, no, you, you, you'll have to go out through the commander's hatch. Um, the, yeah, you don't want the, to go the, 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 the explosion out. is is kind of flaring up behind you, and um, you know that ammunition will be the next thing to blow up. Uh huh. So yeah, you, you will. Knowing where you are, you will uh, you'll be jumping out of the commander's hatch. Well, the hatch will be open because you were using the gun. You'll be jumping out of the commander's as, hatch anyway. So, as as, um, as Terry bailed, did you say? Terry, you have heard Terry is trying to climb out. Yes. And what what's uh, Dallas doing? Well, I I'm, I'm going to make his corner under fire roll. Um, can I wait taking... and see what Dallas does if he's injured, if he can get out. Okay. Um. He is climbing out, and yes, he is injured, but he is climbing out of the turret. He's able to get out, so I will get out then. Yeah. Okay, as the explosion kind of rips through the cargo compartment, it kind of goes next to the, uh, the, the, um, the ammunition as it kind of... And yes, as you kind of jump out... <gasps> Excuse me. Poor Bessie. Just explodes. Oh. Upwards. The turret goes flying off. I want you to make a mobility roll now, please. Um, uh, Frank. And Terry is going to be making a mobility roll, as is Dallas. Ooh. Okay. Well done, You're Frank. Fine. Good job, Frank. <sighs> Sadly, the Bradley didn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, Terry didn't get away. Uh, how did Dallas do with his mobility roll? Actually, I'm going to roll those again because I was clicking the Bradley. So yes, we'll, we'll, we'll be nice because we don't want any more uh, mental trauma on poor Kobe. Um, Are you sure we don't? <laughs> Still okay, didn't that, make that, it. That, 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 that was Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> that was the next character I had. Oh yeah, right. Uh, you know you're in trouble we... when your backup characters are dying. Right. Now. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's a good thing. It could be it could be you. Let's let's roll. Uh, this is Terry. Oh. Okay. As you as you land on the ground, Frank, you see the turrets blown off the Bradley and land on Dallas. Oh. And oh. you hear the cracking of bone 
the splidging of splodge of flesh as this turret rolls over and where Dallas was the turret is there see Terry is lying on the ground she's got wounds both arms burns fragmentation effects as this Bradley just starts burning and, and suddenly there's a as the ammunition starts cooking off inside Terry is just trying to crawl on the ground and Jake Kobe yeah. is a huge explosion from the other side of the bridge and you hear ammunition cooking off Home oh, missiles, high explosive, 25 millimeter ammunition starts cooking off. For the rest of you, Isaac. I better start learning Russian. <laughs> you see this Bradley exposed. You saw Frank leap out. You saw Terry and Dallas leap out. And as you kind of, you know, you had your rifle, you used the ammunition, you you probably put it down because you know you've got no more ammunition. You see the turret kind of roll and squish where poor Dallas was. Eee. And there's a, there's a, a moment of, of silence for, for you, Rick. The engineer kind of... He's still shaking, still holding his hands up, and he's, 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 he looks even more fearful now than he did before. As well you should. As well you should. Um, I uh, so, step closer to him, uh, grab the scruff of the back shirt and pull him to his feet, put the gun on his back and march him out of the tent. Okay. But we're still in combat. Oh. And Kobe. There was more. I thought everyone was dead. Oh, and your side of the grave. Oh, no. The dude with the. the yeah. He's still alive. Jeez. Uh, well, um, we don't know. I, yeah. Two more. Two more men. Uh, you can see them uh, come out of the tent. Um, I'm just going to have uh, Rick and. Rick and Isaac, can you make uh, just a recon roll, please? Yep. Good, I got a body shot. Oh, no, sorry, no, not, not Rick. No, you're in a tent. Sorry, you are oh, in I walked, tent. I walked him out. Oh, you want to? Yeah, 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 okay. I'll let you off then. Yeah, okay, go on, make a recon roll. Uh, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to stress later. Bill. Okay. That's not fine. me. Um... <laughs> Um, okay, so they've taken their actions of moving. So, Kobe, you see um, one more soldier kind of moving towards looking at you. You also, also see oh. a second soldier kind of starts to rush over the bridge and you just see him look down uh, over the side of the bridge to his left and you can see he then immediately starts rushing back this way, away from the bridge. Okay. Frank. You see the Bradley explode could well be Australia you see the Bradley explode you see the turret go down on Dallas you see uh, Terry uh, lying on the ground oh, let's, let's have let's have let's let's just kind of have kind of Frank's token kind of there and and we'll put Terry's token 
kind of there and we'll put Dallas's token kind of there and well you we'll, want to we'll, smear him a little bit I well agree. I mean I mean, we'll, 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 we'll mark him, assuming he's dead, because until you get and have a look. What are you doing? You see Terry is... Um, is in pain, blooded arms, and... Yeah, what are you doing? From... Um, <laughs> shit in my pants. Well, I mean, there um, is that, there is that, there is that, that, that warm <laughs> That's a fast action. Just, kind of going down your legs as yes as you recover and you see Terry you going over to see her. she's almost next to you you're going to go and check her what the guy that's just fired the rocket yeah he is there but he is yes he you What's can see like? him four hexes uh, one, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four hexes. Um, I won't have my gun. I've got my pistol. Yep. And what's range on a pistol? Not very much. Uh, it won't be great. It's, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Frank, your pistol has a range of two hexes. So that's four hexes. So you'll be minus one um, for shooting at that range and a second minus one because you'll be drawing and firing in the same as part of your full action. Is there any... Um, could I drag her back to the cover of what's left of the Bradley or is that just a burning wreck? Uh, no, you you want to use the uh, you you don't want to use the Bradley's cover. You've got the, about the cars, cars over here. There's two 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 wrecked cars over there. That's only a, um, a, a hex away, so you could grab her and push into cover behind those cars. Drag and her across. Yeah, okay. do, try and do that. Yeah, you drag her into he cover. If the, the turret landed on him. Did you say? Uh, you you said he, the turret landed where he was, uh, so you can't see I mean, if he's alive or dead. He loved that tank. That um, he, did, he did. He did love Messi. It's how it's how he wanted to die. So yeah, I'll just yeah. drag her to that car. <laughs> As you kind of drag her, you just kind of look back, and and one of the big loudspeakers that was on the turret is just kind of rolled onto the ground <laughs> next to the burning Bradley. Oh, we should have played some music. Yeah, you should have played the music. Yes, should have been fine. That's why it blew up. That's why it blew up. You got okay, so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, yeah, just got too close. Uh, right, uh, so, Isaac, what are you doing? Uh, Isaac is going to move. Okay. He will take cover behind this bush, tree thing. In those trees, yes, yeah. yes. So you don't need to make a mobility roll because it's in the same hex. You could even um, move a bit further round if you wanted to go to the next hex because you can move one hex. Um, oh, so I can move what round you this could, way? You, you, you could move Plus well. I, I was I was more thinking you could move over to here, so you could be in the next hex to your friends and, and see the chaos and be a bit more on cover. And are you pulling out your pistol? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. I didn't want to be behind them, really. No, go okay. the other way then if you want to. Yeah, just saying. It's entirely up to you. Um, no, I'll stay there for now. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Kobe. You yeah, are I think, seeing... um... Sorry? Kobe, you are there. You see three more... Uh, sorry, two more uh, Soviet engineers uh, are coming out. Um... <laughs> And they seem to be running this way, looking to maybe escape. Uh, they are well, carrying I... weapons, but they're not aimed at any location. Yeah. So I'm not, well, I'm still hard to know. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two fast actions instead of a slow and a fast. Um, my first fast action will be to reload uh, the M203. 
and okay. then I'd, I'd like to uh, take a mobility uh, to move to run and I'm gonna kind of run to my uh, to, to the berms like over I don't know if you can see the, what I'm doing I see the up, berms but I'm gonna... you are gonna yeah. need to make a a weapon check to reload uh, okay right. so um, make that weapon check and then you can move a hex okay and that is uh, just a it's range just, combat just, check just click your range combat yeah okay very good <laughs> Yeah, and you, you, you reload and you can move one hex. All right, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to call out on the radio and uh, just say, there are too many. I can't, I can't hold this position. Don't let the M2 go on the bridge. They could blow it. <laughs> Doddy, you, you hear this uh, over the radio that's at your side. Okay. And she kind of just glance over behind you as the M2 Bradley is burning and shells cooking off. <laughs> nice for the work, by the way. You kind of think... I mean, Kobe's seen and felt that explosion, surely. Well, he might yeah, not know it's the M2. Do I know what it was? Like... Right. No, he doesn't know what it was. It was just a big, big explosion with ammunition <laughs> cooking off. Okay. Rick. What are you doing? So these guys down here, are they running across the bridge? Uh, which ones? Oh, well, ones I didn't here? see them anyway. Never mind. I didn't make no. my recon roll. No. But you can make actually another recon roll now. Oh, okay. Well, let you make another recon roll. That's not where I need to be. Nope. Nope. Okay. So so you can't see anyone, but you've got a prisoner. Right. So uh assuming he's following like he's going where I urge him to go. Oh yeah, 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 he yeah, he's he's he'll go wherever you go. Wherever you We're push gonna him. move back okay. over here. Oh uh, yeah, you, you've trees. got him. Doddy, you see, you see Rick coming back with a Soviet prisoner, hands in the air. Um, looks like a young guy, blonde hair. Um, maybe that could be the next character, Kobe. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, yeah. Um, so Doddy, yes, you're next. Um, so you see the 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 Bradley is burning, and you see uh, Rick. <laughs> Muta got a general idea that somebody standing on the road was responsible for that, surely. Oh, yes. So oh, I'm yes. Going to, oh, yes. I'm going to go into that next square with gun. Okay. Go to about there, yeah. I'm going to use the okay. cover. Oh, what happened there? I'm duplicated. There's two of me. It's getting out of hand. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to use double vision from your concussion. <laughs> you, you're going to use this cover here. Yeah. Use the cover of the trees. It's the mutation. Take, <laughs> yeah. take, a, take a shot as I split myself into two. It's fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going okay. to. I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay. There with my new weapon, which can't okay. possibly go wrong given the way anything's happened well today. Uh, I have absolute faith in your ability as a combatant and uh, yes to fire yes I will press that button um, I will increase the rate of fire to two how many to okay, all yeah. of it? I would say to all of it that's what I would do um, to as high as you can clash me off all around him <laughs> that seems a popular choice so I'll just it's open it I flick it to a full auto uh yeah, and then I I destroy him. Hopefully, with beautiful, this. beautiful. You 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 do actually hit him. Uh, you do do some damage. The 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 damage on the AK is is two, um, but you did get a bullet on your ammo dice, which means you do a second bullet goes into him. Um. 
and you waste him as he goes down, dropping the empty RPG-7 case. Your 16 shells that you fire out from the AK um, impact on him, straight in the torso, where he's not wearing any armor. Just kind of goes up and, yes, blasts away at him. And then there is a moment of panic. You don't know how or why, but there's one Soviet engineer, fanatic, loyal to the party, loyal to the state. The unseen came out of the tent over here, across the bridge under Duddy's character sheet. Just, just there. And no one else saw him. He kind of goes down. And suddenly there is an explosion. Second explosion. A third. The ground shakes. The ground rocks as explosions ring out from underneath the bridge. Bone is flown into the air, steel girders flown into the air as the bridge just kind of collapses in to the river. Dust, we can it. cement, <laughs> concrete, steel, the tents shatter, blow apart. Kobe, you kind of see huge explosions again. <laughs> you see stone and, and smoke and dust plumes go up. You see the dust engulfing uh, several of these uh, Soviet engineers there. And oh. as we fade the camera away from this scene, you've heard two big explosions, Kobe. You don't know how, what, or why, but you know the people have died. You feel like a twinge through your heart. And as the camera fades away from this magnificent scene, we kind of turn. And there's another wooded area. And you see, in the distance, maybe something else. You see Boris walking through a, a woods. You can see some Polish free militia from Conan with him. They're all armed. Boris is naked from the waist up, but there's a huge amount of bandages around uh, where he took a bullet in the back from Grayson all those times ago. You can see Polish free militiaman stands by a hatch. So this hidden area has been inhabited recently. Uh, there's cold books, there's a radio, there was coffee, American coffee. <sighs> See Boris Hudson. They were here. <sighs> right. Flank out, see if you can find where they went. They stole one of our jeeps, we want it back. <coughs> Get me the radio. See, he pulls out a radio from his backpack radio. Frenchy, I need you to hunt someone down. <laughs> they fucked me off. They shot me. They stole from us. There's a big bonus in it from Casper for you. And you hear this striking of a match over the radio. 
and a, an inhalation of a cigarette. I'll get my rifle and I will hunt them down. Where are you? Conan, bring the chopper. Time for us to get some payback against these bastards. <laughs> oh. And that is where we leave this session. Oh. With the pain and the suffering, death and destruction. And maybe there hasn't been so much redemption from our survivors, but some of them are still alive, if not a bit battered and bruised. And that, gentlemen, is where we will finish. <laughs>